What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you Zer's loot for the 23rd of the 9th, 2016. The first time we've seen him since the release of Rise of Iron and he's located on the reef. If you guys do want to check him out, let's see what he has this week. Okay, so we have a Legacy Engram. This is a Gauntlet Engram. This will give you, I'm guessing, Year 1 Gauntlets, and uh, not Year 2, because that wouldn't make sense. You may as well just bring an Exotic Engram. So yes, this will give you them Year 1 Exotic Gauntlets. So don't get this mixed up with the Year 2s and Year 3s, because you ain't going to get them out of this. He's brought the Twilight Garrison, and these are dropping. Ah, interesting, that's 350. Actually, a lot higher than that. I thought it was going to be a stingy mole for bring them at about like a 340, 320, something like that. But the Twilight Garrison, quite a beastly um, Titan Chester, I'm to be honest. Uh, these offer 82 intellect and 81 discipline, so not bad. Their special perk is basically an evade in the air. You've got to have seen it in PvP. Them Titans flying around, just dodging like flies, absolutely ridiculous. Um, but these will cost you 13 strange coins, a must purchase for any titan who don't have them. We then have the Celestial Nighthawk for the Hunter, this is a helmet obviously, uh, offering 58 intellect and 64 strength. Golden Gun fires one shot with 6 times damage while granting keyhole for over penetration. These will also cost you 13 strange coins. And then we have the new Warlock. Leg armors, the transversive steps. Now, I think we all know about these the transversive steps, uh, faster movement while crouching, ammo pickups automatically reload that weapon type. That's actually quite good, you know, if you think about it, especially for PvE. I'm not sure if it will take the place of some of the other PvE exotics for the wall up though, but it is what it is. Um, I probably will buy this as well, to be honest. You know, what? I'm just gonna get it now. Why not? While I'm here. Okay, so the exotic weapon of the week is the Monte Carlo, costing 23 strange coins. The Monte Carlo, everyone knows about this damn weapon, quite good, not going to lie. It's actually a lot better in PvP than a lot of people give it credit for. Um, and I wouldn't say I must have if you haven't got it, but it's definitely worth a purchase, especially if you've got them strange coins spare. Okay, so the new thing Zer brings is weapon ornaments. These are basically weapon skins you apply to your exotics. Uh, so we have... The Super Spy, this is an ornament for the Monte Carlo, cost 25 silver, that is scandal, 25 silver dust, that is ridiculous, this is just basically Bungie wanting you to buy the Radiant packages from um, Test Eververse, it's as simple as that, this is, they want you to buy that shit, this is basically pay to look good. And that's what it is, and I know people will do it to be honest, I did it, I'm not going to lie, but I, I bought like £15 worth of silver. Uh, which is probably about $20 worth of silver. I ain't spending no more, not anytime soon anyway. And I still don't have enough silver dust. And I dismantled a lot of these, which you get five for, which is ridiculous. Okay, so, you know, I'll show you this on screen now, what it looks like under Monte Carlo, if you do have the silver dust, but don't know whether to purchase it or not. So you'll see this on screen now. Okay, so we have the Bureau of Aeronautics. This is a skin for the cough stuff. Now, I think I may actually have this. Let me have a look. If I have, I can show you right now. I got one of them. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, it is. It's this one here, which, in my opinion, looks pretty damn badass. Um, but yes, if you like it and you got the actual the silver dust, you purchase it. It's up to you. Uh, but I don't know, 25 silver dust for an ornament from Zer is a bit crazy to be honest. But yes, it is what it is. Now a lot of these ornaments people don't know about have slight animations. There is one on the Hawk Moon, I'm not exactly sure what it is. But when you shoot the weapon, the whole barrel lights up. Absolutely ridiculous, but it looks sick. Now I'm guessing a lot of these do the same thing, but we won't know until we actually get them on our weapon. Now to me, I do want to collect them all, but... Buying them from Zer for 25 silver dust is just Bungie wanting us to purchase them from Tess. And it is what it is, and I'll say it out straight, I ain't bothered. Now another thing you may want to do if you're trying to get that light level up and you have plenty of spare strange coins is purchase a shitload of these heavy ammo packs because I think it takes a hundred of these to get a package from your faction, which is probably the best place now, if you're 365 or over, to rank up gear. So spending 100 strange coins will rank you up three times with a faction. If you've got plenty of spare strange coins, buy as many as you can. That's what I plan to do. 
But guys, that is it. That is what Zers brought for the 23rd of the night of 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts on his loot and I'll catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Will carry on We never get it right Left in the dark